Hello and welcome to another one of my unboxing videos. Now first up I'd just like to say that if I haven't got around to opening your packages yet I apologize. I know some of you are probably eagerly awaiting to see your packages on my channel being unboxed. Unfortunately I'm trying to space them out to try and keep the channel uh, interesting. I don't want my videos to be too long and uh, I'm also trying to introduce some how to do videos uh, midweek just to kind of keep the channel interesting. So that's my reasons for that. So do keep them coming and I shall be getting through them eventually. It's just going to take a little bit more time maybe than uh, what you used to or what you anticipated. So that explains that. So today I'm going to do these three packages here which uh, came quite a while ago I believe and I I'm quite looking forward to opening them. So this one here is, uh, I don't think it's a car, it's uh, from Jack Torben of St. Augustine in Florida. And it feels like it could be a t-shirt or a hat or something, so I'm going to open this up now. And hopefully not cut what, in, what is inside up. Okay, well this looks very interesting. It's a bag of bronze wool pads. So have a look at that. Bronze wool pads, the, of something which I've never heard of and never knew existed. So let's have a read about what these are. There's a letter in here. Well, actually, there's a couple of things in there. That's that oak empty. Oh, 29th of the 4th. Marty, really enjoy your vids. You seem a true hobbyist with unique ideas and tricks to get desired results. However, however gleaned, you use them well. My son and the missus here agree. I believe the ports on the locomotive black with gold trim are water filling ports for steam making. Great job. Also the salvage of the long buried Mack truck tipper orange was a great resurrection. Aces. Enclosed find some Bronze wool that may be helpful instead of the steel wool, which I believe leaves striations in the metal. Give it a try and announce what you think. I can't recall how many matchboxes I've come across in my life and have not paid attention to, not being a fan of your calibre. You've rekindled my appreciation of them again. Love your vids. All the best to your house from ours, Jack and Elvia. Well, wow, thank you very much, Jack and Elvia. Give my love to Elvia. And thank you for these bronze wool pads, fine finishing grade, which I shall be testing out very soon and uh, posting the results on my video. This looks like instructions for the Lustersheen stripping mesh. So that must be what it's called. Heavy duty Lustersheen stripping mesh, which I've never heard of. But I should definitely be giving it a go. So that's excellent, something new. I always like to try something new. All right, so one package out of the way, two to go. This is a nice little box uh, to Marty's Matchbox, PO Box 802 in Werribee. And it's from M. Andrews from Ontario in Canada. It says there, Canada Post, Airmail Par Avion. Remember, Canadians speak a lot of French. Let's open it up and see what's inside it. It said, oh, sound says challenge coin and toy. I never noticed that before. Now I'm really excited. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Oh, there's a letter. Shall I read the letter first? Okay, uh, this was done on the 4th of May. See that? So may the 4th be with you. Marty, here are a few models for you to make whole again. These have seen some rough play, but if anyone can make them whole again, it's you. Thank you for that. I have also included the challenge coin for your collection. Ah, oh, I am retired from the Ontario Provincial Police, having served for 32 years. That's an incredible career. My main job for the last 15 years was traffic inspector. The car featured on the coin is a car number one, a 1941 Chevrolet Master Deluxe Coupe. 
Car One represents an important shift the OPP made in the early 1940s to patrolling the province's highways with cars rather than motorcycles, as the increase in traffic volume became a greater safety hazard. The original Car One was one of five specially built Chevrolets, each one assigned to a patrol sergeant, bearing the letter Ontario Provincial Police Highway Patrol. The paint scheme for these first five vehicles a white body with black fenders and quarter panels was distinct from the other 45 patrol cars with white bodies and black hoods, purchased in 1941. The tradition of the black and whites was born. Hope you like the models and the coin. Really enjoy your channel. Mark Andrews. So that's what the M stands for. Mark Andrews from Corbeil in Ontario, Canada. Well, Mark, I can't wait to have a look at these. Oh, straight off the bat. Look at that. What a beautiful thing. Oh, I do love these things. Check that out. That's a little beauty with that fiber uh, cobalt blue resin in there or enamel. And on the back there, there's one of those car one black and whites he's talking about. 75th anniversary. That is fantastic. I love that and it's going to go into my collection. I'm getting quite a few now and I'm starting to frame them up. I'll show you one later on that's been done already. Oh, here's a little bit of information about the Ontario Provincial Police Force. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a shoulder patch. That's just awesome. I really like that sort of stuff. You can see, but I'll, you know, maybe I'll show you one day. I've got all sorts of stuff in frames around here that I just love, you know. Oh, wow, there's a few, few cars in here. Oh, my God, look at that one. Have another look at that patch. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> the maple leaves there. All right, that's just lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, check these out. Wow, what a set. Quite the uh, variety. Oh! Been damaged in transit, maybe? <laughs> or perhaps that's how it is. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> that's a great one. Check that out. Imagine if I fix that up. How cool is that going to look? From start to finish, you know, like on the carousel. Oh, there's another one of those uh, Vauxhall Victor's estate cars that I did. Once again, that tailgate's missing. You know, Matchbox. I should have made that out of titanium, that tailgate. Instead of lead or whatever it was. <laughs> Oh, I've never seen this one before. Love that pinky orange. Ford Zodiac Convertible. <laughs> Number 30, I think it says. <laughs> yeah, uh, or 39. I'll have to get my little magic book out and check on that one. No steering wheel, no windscreen, no A-pillars, no hook on the back. You've certainly picked some challenges there for me. <laughs> This one here has definitely seen better days. Have a look at that. This is going to be a beauty, though, if I can pull that off. That's another Zodiac. So that's a Zodiac, and that's a Zodiac. Actually, you can see the comparison there. Look, same, same uh, bonnet structure, but this one's a convertible. So that's interesting. I haven't seen either of those two before. But this one here, the LCC Ambulance, I have done before. It turned out really well. The only thing that's missing on the back here is a couple of doors, but you can get those online. Not too difficult to source. And I'll probably make some uh, of my own transfers this time. Last time I bought them. But I'm getting sort of a bit of a dab hand at making my own, so I might give this one another go. So those are brilliant. Look at that. Excellent, just exactly what I'm looking for, you know. I like a bit of a challenge. So thanks ever so much there, Mark. Gratefully received. So like I said about this challenge coin, I do collect them from time to time. Well, I do have a friend over in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who sent me a bag of, of, of challenge coins and a couple of badges, and I'll show you what we did with them. Because they were loose in the bag. Here is the kind of thing that I like to do. When I get something like that, I like to frame them up in a nice deep picture frame, send, uh, space them all out, make it look good, and do them on a bit of uh, 
felt on the back there or velvet and I'll choose a color that uh, probably is appropriate for the uh, the subject matter so in this case it's blue because you know most of the uh, uniforms of the police force in the world are blue it's always associated with the police force so that looks like that so I hope you're impressed with that I hope you get a good view of that so this is going to be number one of the next set so I'll get another one of these frames and start adding to it so that was uh, that's two down so far, thumbs up on both of them. Absolutely awesome. Now, the third one here is from Australia. Uh, Kathy Benson from Hermit Park. Must look that up. Not familiar with the place. So, Kathy Benson from Townshill, Hermit Park. Let's have a look. Should have got the knife. <laughs> Ooh, oh! It's some supplies, which is a real surprise for me. So let's see what uh, Kathy's got to say. These are great idea. Thanks, Kathy. I cannot get enough of these things. I go through them like a dose of salts. Dear Marty, I'm a subscriber to your channel and I thoroughly enjoy watching. You restore Matchbox cars. I've watched others, but I prefer your channel. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I hope you like the cotton buds and shot glasses. Looking forward to many more makeovers and wish you all the very best for you and your family. Sincerely, Kathy Benson. P.S. I'm still at the shopping centre. I decided to post this straight away, LOL. Ah, well, good news, Kathy. It arrived safe and sound. And I shall be using these to... Uh, clean out my ears amongst other things. No, just joking. I use them for all sorts of things, not that. Keep them for that. And uh, these, these shot glasses will certainly come in handy. Like when we have our celebrations at the end of after uh, uh, each and every new upload, you know, we gather around and uh, we have a, a couple of uh, shots or something just to sort of uh, celebrate the release of a new video. So thanks ever so much for that, uh, Kathy. Very thoughtful of you indeed. So, uh, that's been a great unboxing video, but you know what? I checked my watch and it went by pretty quick, all things considered, so I think I've got time just for one more package. So instead of a three package opening this week, it's gonna be a four package opening. So I've got one here. Might as well get through them whilst I'm in the mood. Uh, this one has come from the UK, Royal Mail. This is awesome. And the sender has only left his postal, postal code on there. So I'm going to have to open this up and hopefully find out who it's from. Oh, nice little box. That is so cute. Actually, it's quite weighty too. God, I'm hopeless. <laughs> now, there. Aha. Good, there's a letter. Hi, Marty, just a few cars for you to restore from John Davis. All right, John, let's have a look at them. Thank you very much. Um, Oh, 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 this one's been hit with an axe. Look at that. It's um, been involved in a major accident. Luckily, the dog survived. So I'll have to buy a replacement windscreen for that one. And do a little bit of panel beating. But... It's a good little model, and I've done two already, and I'll do that one. Wow, there's another one that's been totally wrecked. Who was this kid? I want his name. Jaguar Mark 10. Engine's in good condition. Bodywork needs a bit of uh, panel beating, and uh, needs a new windscreen. These are great. 
But those other ones and these ones are just the sort of thing I need to, uh, you know, make me stand out and try and get some really difficult ones to do up and look good. Because people like to see the dramatic transformations at the end. This one's not too bad, it just needs a bit of a repaint. I like it, it's got the original grey wheels and it comes complete with the ladder which is excellent. The ladder's been bent over but I mean that can be probably fixed I'm thinking with a little bit of gentle persuasion that would look really good. A couple more. Oh, there's a few more. Look. There's, uh, there's four more. This isn't, is it? It is. It's another one of those damn Vauxhall Victors with the tailgate missing. <laughs> Jeez, that really was a weakness on this model, wasn't it? Right, it's, it's in perfect condition except that tailgate's only half of it again. But you know what? Anything's possible. I'm going to have to do another two of them. Wow, I like this. This is a beauty. Look at that. That's old school. I love that colour. Jeez. I'm going to look into that. I might even leave that as is because that's a little ripper. It's a number 13 wreck truck. What do you reckon? Almost like new. Well, not really, but pretty damn good for its age. Ah, oh, right. Now, this one here. I actually received in the post the other day from, uh, I ordered some spare parts and I got a door for this one. So I'll probably pick the worst of the two and do that one up. Uh, but I will have a two when I get around to doing that one. And here's the last one for today. Evening news van. Classic. However, it's got the roof uh, sign missing. So I'd actually have to fabricate one of those out of some uh, maybe plastic card or something similar to make it look good. So that would make for a great new sort of uh, thing for me to do. I quite like the idea of doing that. So that's definitely going to go on the restorations to be done list. In fact they all will. They're all excellent models. So thanks very much John Davis. One last thing here, if anyone's noticed, my I'm happy with that hoodie. Nice warm polar fleece type material. So they're available from links on the at the end of my videos if you want to have a browse, see whether or not you fancy buying one. If not, it's no biggie. I just thought I'd have one myself for a bit of a novelty item, you know, to use whilst I'm unboxing. And uh, just a quick reminder, I do have a P.O. box now. It's P.O. Box 802 at Werribee in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. And if you have a look at the bottom here, you should be able to see that coming up now. And if you've got any goodies to send me and you want featured on these unboxing videos, feel free. All right, because I'm going to be in this for the long run and I need this kind of stuff so I can keep making video content for you guys at home who are subscribing and enjoying the content. So thanks very much for that. So, so once again, from me at Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. All I've got to do now is say goodbye and see you next time.